Hi guys, back again with another video here. This time I wanted to teach you my method for how I enable cheats on RetroArch and also how I go about downloading, downloading them onto the Nintendo Switch since I keep my Nintendo Switch in airplane mode all the time. So first off here, I'm going to go ahead and swap back over to the computer. Now that we're on the computer, I went ahead and I created a handy dandy zip with all of the cheats that most commonly will be used in RetroArch for the most common systems. So let's go ahead here. Now, first thing we do here, we have our Nintendo Switch SD card. Uh, at least, this is my mock-up of it. I have a folder labeled Pretend Switch SD card. We go back. We have our usual folders, Atmosphere Bootloader, Hikadi will be here as well for you. So, what we want to do we go ahead and open up the RetroArch folder. I'm going to provide this zip in the comments section below. I'll have it hosted on a Google Drive. I'm going to leave it up there forever, so feel free to go ahead and download it. If for some reason it disappears in the future, please leave a comment and I'll re-upload it right away. Now, here is the zip folder that I am providing. We go ahead, open up this, the zip, and I have it labeled as unzip into RetroArch folder. So it's called cheats. All you have to do, drag and drop that right over here. Now it's going to do its thing, and we're going to let that do that, and we'll be right back after it's done. All right, now that the cheats have finished unzipping and copying over to the RetroArch folder on your Switch SD card, we are done on the computer. So we can go ahead, take the SD card out and put it back into our computer and boot back into our custom firmware EMU MMC. All right, and now we're back and on the Nintendo Switch. So I already have RetroArch loaded up. You can go ahead and open it here. I'm going to go ahead and open up a game. Let's go with Aladdin for the Sega Genesis. Supposedly the definitive version, better than the Super Nintendo. I'm not sure. I think they both have their own merits. This version notably has been... The animation was designed by Disney. Like, they gave Sega basically all the animation for it. Okay. Oh, we're throwing some apple. Only five apples left. Well, let's do something about that. So now we can go down to Cheats. And we want to load cheat file. And this will load the cheat file for this specific ROM. And you only have to do this one time. After this is loaded, it'll save and be there forever every time you open up the ROM. So we want to we want to look for the cheat that's labeled Aladdin or Disney's Aladdin. And I use a American USA ROM set, so I want to make sure I get that one. Aladdin Europe, Japan, nope. Uh, RetroArch Rumble, oh, that sounds neat, but I'm not going to do that. Regular Aladdin USA. There we are. Loaded. Okay, now we got that. So we can see here, whole bunch of cheats, and we can go ahead and enable them. But, wait, this. We must toggle this. Apply after toggle. Make sure you have that set to on. The way you turn it on is just press left or right on your D-pad. Now that we have that on, let's go... I want to fix my Apple problem. I want infinite apples. And then you turn that on just by pressing left or right. Now you can see it's on. And it enabled, went back. Now let's go back and resume our game. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, resume. And here we are. It's paused, unpaused, jump. Let's throw some apples. Hey, look, five apples. I got infinite apples. The cheat code works. Let's try one more just to see if there's anything cool that we can do. Is there like a super jump or anything like that? Because that'd be kind of fun. Let's see here. Infinite health, infinite energy. Apples, apples, five gems. I guess we can just do infinite health. That seems like the... Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to do that. I hope that doesn't mess anything up. I, I toggled that off and on and off. That could be a problem. Uh, infinite energy. Is that my health bar? I don't know. Let's go back. Resume. Start. No, oh, I guess that is the health bar. Energy. Because the uh, fire's not burning me. The screen is kind of glitching out, though. You can see, like, Aladdin's on fire, but you can't see Aladdin. Alright, so, 
that's basically how you enable cheats in RetroArch for basically any system, not just the Nintendo Switch. But because I'm making this channel Switch-centric, I wanted to post up a video for this. So if you have any questions or comments, any suggestions, uh, if you have trouble accessing the cheat zip folder, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. I will leave a link to the Google Drive that has this zip folder with all of the special zips in it for RetroArch. And basically it'll cover all the systems that RetroArch on the Nintendo Switch can do. Alright, I want to thank you for watching and have a good day.